Welcome to English Grammar Spot. This lesson is about adverbs. Look at these sentences. She sings beautifully. He fell poorly after he fell from the stairs. Both these words, which are underlined, are adverbs. In this lesson, I'm going to show you what adverbs exactly are, the different types of adverbs, how to form an adverb, how to place an adverb in a sentence and the exceptions. I'm going to take you through the most common exceptions, not all. Now, what are adverbs? Adverbs add extra information to a verb. For example, he arrived home safely. Safely says something about arriving. We could also say he arrived home early and here early would be an adverb. It also comments on an adjective. Remember, an adjective says something about a noun. She wore a brightly coloured dress. Dress in this sentence is a noun. Coloured, here is an adjective because it says something about the dress. But brightly says something about the way it was coloured. We could also say she wore a pink coloured dress and then pink would be an adverb. It also says something about other adverbs. For example, she did her job fairly well. Well says something about the manner in which she did her job and fairly says something about well. We could also say she did her job reasonably well. An adverb also says something about a sentence or a clause. Honestly, I feel very ill. Here, the adverb comments on the entire sentence. There are many different types of adverbs. First, there are adverbs of manner. These adverbs say something about how it happens. He looked at me carefully. We could also say he looked at me slowly. It says something about he, the way he looked at me. The museum will slowly go bankrupt. Not quickly, slowly. He plays football well. There are also adverbs of place. Where does it happen? My keys must be somewhere. Here somewhere is an adverb. There they are or here they are. These are adverbs and we had to travel quite far. There are also adverbs of time. When does it happen? Finally, which means in the end, he managed to grow a beard. He eventually came home and he rang her immediately after he had heard the news. There are also adverbs of frequency. How often does it happen? I always brush my teeth before going to bed. She is often late for work. My aunt never rings me on my birthday. Other types of adverbs of frequency are sometimes or regularly. Now we also have adverbs of degree. In what way does it happen? He arrived home fairly late. This cake can be made quite easily and they are definitely right. Finally, there are sentence adverbs. They comment on an entire sentence or a clause. Frankly, I'm fed up with you. The child clearly wanted some ice cream and he loved it very much, obviously. Usually, but not always, as you can see in the second sentence, these adverbs can be found at the beginning or at the end of a sentence. Now, how do we form an adverb? Please note that there is a clear difference in form between an adverb and an adjective. Remember, an adjective says something about a noun. To form an adverb, we usually take the adjective and we add ly to this adjective. We quickly packed our bags and left. They don't normally sell these shoes, so quick and normal are adjectives. And now we've added ly to them and now they've become adverbs. We need to pay attention to adverbs ending in a Y. For example, easy and happy. Here, the Y becomes an I. For example, they pass their exams easily and we are happily married. Now, please note, 
that they dry and dryly and shy and shyly. This is basically because these adjectives only have one syllable. We also need to pay attention to adjectives ending in IC. For example, specific, terrific. Here we add A L L Y. For example, they specifically asked for a room with a view and he won the match terrifically. Please note that it's public and publicly, so it's an exception. Now, where do we place an adverbs? We always need to pay attention to adverbs of frequency, so always, never, sometimes, regularly, etc. These adverbs of frequency become before the main verb or after a form of to be. For example, he often works late, so work here is a main verb, or she is never in time for dinner. Is is a form of to be, so we place it after it. Now pay attention to the following sentence. They can always call me in times of need. Here we have two verbs. We have can and call. But since call here is the main verb, the main action, we put the adverb in front of the main verb. For all other adverbs, they can be placed anywhere in a sentence, but adverbs of place become before adverbs of time. We basically say place before time. For example, I searched for my diary everywhere yesterday. Everywhere is an adverb and yesterday is an adverb. But, we see, but since everywhere denotes place and yesterday denotes time, we place yesterday at the end of the sentence. Obviously, you could also say yesterday, comma, I searched for my diary everywhere. A time can either be in front of a sentence or at the end of a sentence. Now let's take a look at some of the exceptions. Some adjectives don't change when used as an adverb. Yearly, such as daily, weekly, etc. Early, but also obviously since these adjectives already look as adverbs. Little, long, fast, next. These are some of the adjectives that don't change. There are more, but I've selected the most common ones. We also need to pay attention to the words good and well. They have the same meaning, but good is an adjective, as you can see in he is a good swimmer. Good notes something about a noun, swimmer, and he swims well. And here we use the adverb because it says something about the way he swims, the verb. Some adjectives change in meaning when we add ly. So fair means honest, but fairly means reasonably. And hard, as in tough, but hardly, almost none. Late, as in not early, but lately, as in recently. And near, as in close, and nearly, as in almost. So we cannot change these simply to making it an adverb. So you need to pay good attention when adding something to an adjective. Certain verbs, which we call copulas, require an adjective, not an adverb. These verbs, these are the most common ones, so not all, to appear, to be, to become, to feel, to get, to keep, to seem, to smell to sound and to taste. Now please note that I've put an asterisk after to get, to smell, to sound and to taste. Because these can, these can also be common verbs, so they're not always copulas. So pay attention to um, these sentences. This food tastes great. And here great is an adjective because it says something about the taste. But if we say he tasted the food carefully, here it says something about the verb itself in the way he tasted it. Yeah. So when he says the food tastes great, great says something about the food, but when we say he tasted the food carefully, we say something about the way he tasted it, the verb. I thank you for your attention. 
For regular updates, please subscribe to www.youtube.com slash English Grammar Support or go to www.englishgrammarsupport.com.